This dive site is known as Kodok Mai, which in Thai means the island of flowers, or flower island. It's in an area blasted by very strong currents, and not many divers go there. You can see it's teeming with fish, and there's lots of very, very healthy, large sea fans. This is a Gorgonian sea fan. Some of them are four or five meters across. See, there's lots of fish living in there. These are sweepers. Uh, I guess they stay there because their coloration is very similar to the fan, so it offers good uh, protection. And you can see in there, these are all juvenile sweepers. Most divers just refer to them as glass fish, but they're actually juvenile sweepers. This is a bearded scorpion fish. Highly camouflaged kind of scorpion fish. They can change their coloration to adapt to their environment. And this close-up clearly shows the very poisonous dorsal spines on its back there. That's where you find the venom. Uh, he gets his name from the tassels underneath his chin there. That's why he's called a bearded scorpion fish. Some places call him a raggy or a tasseled scorpion fish. Much of the reef has these large barrel sponges. You can see the particles in the water rushing towards me. You can imagine just how strong the current is there. I'm really struggling to stay in place. Continuing across the reef, I come across the holy grail of marine life to see in these waters. It's the critically endangered hawksbill turtle and he's just resting there under the coral. And now you can clearly see why he's called a hawksbill turtle. Now after a while I move back and I let him come out of his out of his hole there and that's when I see that the poor thing's only got three legs. He must have lost one of his flippers in a, an accident. It could have been a shark attack. It could have been a propeller from a boat. And you can also see the jaggedy edges around the shell. That's one sign that shows it's a hawksbill. If you're unsure of how to tell the difference between a hawksbill turtle and a green turtle, uh, have a look at the jagged edges along the shell. All turtles need to come up to the surface for a breath, periodically. They normally don't stay up there very long. One quick gulp of fresh air and straight back down to the safety of the reef.